Today I want to talk about NVRHI or the NVIDIA rendering hardware interface. Quite often when I talk about it, people are like, what? What is, what is that? So essentially what I would like to have is an API that allows me to work on roughly the D3D11 level of complexity while still targeting the new modern APIs. And I think I found that in NVRHI. So let's take a look. We can see that it is licensed under the MIT license. And so what is this? It's a library that implements a common abstraction layer over D3D11, 12 and Vulkan. And it does some things like uh, managing the resource states and barriers, tracks the lifetime, uh, and also supports bindless rendering and other fancy new things that admittedly I don't use yet, but uh, it's nice to have the option. Let's see what we have. This is all now running on NVRHI. This is a traction point. This is the game that I'm currently working on. If you join the Discord, you can play a slightly older version of this, which admittedly doesn't run on NVRHI, but uh, soon you will be able to play the NVRHI version as well. Now, this is running on D3D11. D3D11 is still my sort of main graphics API backend, if you will. But this is the game running, uh, looks exactly like before. But as a goof, I actually just tried writing a D3D12 backend on stream. You can find that stream on the channel. You can actually see that uh, we can quite happily now run the game in D3D12 mode as well. So here's the same thing, running in D3D12. I think the loading is slightly longer D3D12, but I fixed all the issues that we had had in that stream. Now runs quite happily with this as well. So pretty cool. Still kind of amazed that it just works this well. And not amazed with my own stuff, but amazed with NVRHI and just how well it kind of translates the old concepts that I'm very used to, to working with. And if you want to know more about how the system works, check out the video linked in the description.